Welcome to chair yoga. For today's practice, we will need a chair, a mat if you have it to go underneath the chair, just so the chair doesn't move around, we don't slip. If you don't have a mat, grab a towel, slip that underneath. And then we'll also need two blocks. We can use books. We need a bolster or two pillows, and then a strap or a belt or a towel just to bring some of that tension in some of our stretches. Go grab those things, get some water, always a towel to dry off on, and I'll meet you on your mat. All right, yogis, just a quick little setup here. I like to have my blocks or books off towards the side's corners, just so they're within reach. We have that blanket just for a little extra padding. So if we're in a metal chair, sorry, you can't see my face. <laughs> if we're in a metal chair, then we want to put that blanket down. Um, if you have a chair that's really pokey in the back, just slip the blanket through the back edge. A little extra cushioning there. If we're on a dining room chair that happens to be padded, we don't need all the extra space. And then bolster or pillow, just ramp it up the edge of the back leg. If you have the two pillows, one on each side. And then the strap or belt, just drape along the back corner of the mat, or of the chair, and the mat is long underneath the chair. Take a couple rounds of breath. Feel the chair underneath you, move around, get situated, and you're moving the flesh off of the sit bones to find a nice, even seat. Feet nice, flat, comfortable, knees stacked over ankles. Palms can be down or palms up, whatever you feel like. I mentioned this in one of the other videos, but sometimes our posture can change the way our brain reacts. And so palms facing up, we are cueing our brain that we need a little bit more energy, that we're looking to receive something. Palms facing down, we are steady, we want to stay exactly as we are, maintaining that energy that we have. So your choice, wherever you are, the movement out before we find our stillness. Take a couple deep breaths, eyes are open. Just gaze soften down at the ground. Inhale in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale. Two more times, inhale in. Open mouth, exhale. Last time, inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Next exhale, you take. Keep your mouth closed and also close your eyes. Feel the floor underneath your feet, chair underneath your sit bones. If you're leaning back into the chair, feel the support there. Notice the air around your skin. Where does the air touch? What does the air around you feel like? Is it dry? Is there a little bit of humidity? Cold? Warm? Is there a neutral quality to the air? Pay attention to the sounds that you hear. Seeking to find the furthest sound in cars, birds, people. Not judging those sounds, not trying to figure out where they are, just listening.
draw your awareness to the sounds just outside the building that you're in. It could be your house, maybe your work, maybe you're somewhere else. Draw your intention into the building that you're in. Attention now just to the room. here within the four corners of your mat. Any sounds within you, sounds outside of you. Come to focus just on the sound of your breath. your belly as you breathe. Is there an intention you'd like to bring with you as we move with our breath, as we stretch today? whatever that is, taking one more deep round of breath, inhale through the nose. whatever you need to do. And we are going to sit in a way that our shoulders are over our hips. So if we can do that, if we have a nice flat back on a chair, we can. My chair is tilted to lean back, so I'm just going to sit up a little bit. This will naturally start to engage our core. Shoulders over hips and focus on bringing your left shoulder towards the left side, right shoulder towards the right side, broadening your chest. From here, little gentle movements. Rotate ankles just to get some movement here. And then we are going to lift those right toes. So lift your right toes, leave the rest of the foot down, start to warm up the calf muscle. So as we inhale, we'll lift the toes, exhale, push them back down. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, lift, press your heel into your mat, press the padded area underneath your toes into your mat. And exhale, please. Good, shake that leg out. Wiggle the foot, the ankle. Starting with the left toes, we inhale, lift. And exhale, release the toes. Two more rounds, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last time, inhale, hold here, press your foot down. Next, exhale, we release. Good. Now, starting 
back on that right side. As you exhale, lift your foot up. Now, your foot does not have to be parallel with the seat. We just want to go as far as we can, working the hips and so working our quad. So as we exhale, lift the leg up, holding it here. If we need to bend our knee, we can. If we need to scoot forward to create more space in that hip, we can. Wherever the leg is, it can be just off the floor, it can be lifted higher. We're going to inhale, point the toes out. Exhale, flex and back toward your face. Good. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Hand on thigh, start to feel the shifting of your muscle. Two more times, inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Last time, inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Good, draw some circles in your ankle as you re-bend your leg all the way down. Let your left foot come up on those toes, little release. Shake that leg side to side. Left side, we exhale, lift the leg. We may come into the same height, we may be at a different height. Just pay attention not only to what you feel on the top of the leg and your hip, but also on your hamstring. So find your edge, find your space. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Good, four more times. Hand to thigh if you want to feel that movement. Last time. Drawing circles with the ankle as you breathe in your knee. Left foot plates down, come up on those toes, little release. Again, windshield wipe up your left leg side to side. Get some movement, sway those ankles. Find your comfortable seat again. Scoot up a little bit. So we'll be grabbing the sides of the chair. If our arms are not that long, we can reach back for the back legs of our chair. Inhale, we broaden out through the shoulders again. Left shoulder towards the left side, right shoulder towards the right. Inhale, press your chest up, gaze stays out in front, and just moves with the lift of your chest. Exhale, chest comes back, and we round out through our back shoulders, come forward, chin to chest. Inhale, seated cow, send the chest forward, draw the shoulders back, gaze just moves with the ribs. Exhale. Shoulders come back to neutral, then point forward as we round out to the chest. One more time. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Good. Take the shoulders up towards your ears, round them down. Two more times. And moving in the opposite way, round the shoulders back. that movement out if we're storing paying attention our energy in our body just shaking it out starting with the right side as we exhale we bend our knees so keeping our shoulders over our hips wherever we can grab it may just be on the bottom of our thigh again the distance we lift does not matter maybe we can reach our shin don't want to lean back here. We want to stay centered so we start working that core as well. So holding here, two rounds of breath. Exhale, can you pull the leg in a little bit deeper, keeping the shoulders and face relaxed. Good. Now, depending on your flexibility in your hip, we have a couple modifications we can do in this next posture. We're going to open the right knee out towards the side and then bring it back to control. So just sweating the leg side to side. Getting some movement here. And then grab your ankle, flex your toes back with your left hand, draw it up over your right knee. Now, if this does not feel good, if this is not comfortable, 
we can bring our books, stack them on top of each other, and find that position here. So this is less of an opening through the hip with the flexion of the hip. If we feel good here, we stay. If we feel good here, we stay. Keep the toes flexed, press in with your left foot. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Good, inhale here. If we want more depth, we can exhale straight to hinge forward. We wanna keep our, flat, our back nice and flat, chest still lifted up. Next, inhale, slowly lift your leg back up into your chest. Inhale, we extend the leg out front. Exhale, we lower. Inhale, extend. Flex the toes up, exhale, lower. Last time, inhale, extend. Can we start to lift the thigh off of the chair as well? Exhale, lower. Good. Shake out that leg, find movement. When you're ready, exhale, left leg comes in. So either back of thigh, again, not pushing ourselves into a position that does not feel good. Two rounds of breath, recenter your shoulders over your hips. Good. Next, exhale, we open. Towards the side, inhale, close to center. Find that movement, find your space. Grab the ankle, flex the toes, see if you can stack over your knee. If not, we use those blocks, we use those books to set up underneath to lessen the flexion in our head. Couple rounds of breath here. What's going on in your body? What's going on in your mind? And find a little bit more space in both areas. Embracing a sense of calm. If we lean forward on the other side, leaning forward here as well, keeping the back straight. Slowly uncross your leg. Exhale, bring it back into your chest. Inhale, extend your leg, toes pointing up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Last time, inhale, extend. Can we lift our thigh up? Exhale, bend and lower. Fine movement. Come up on those tippy toes, rock side to side, maybe a little bend forward. You get some release in those backs. Inhale, come up. And scoot a little bit more forward here. So we're just on the edge of our seat. Move the flesh away from the sit bones. Inhale, arms come out towards the side. Exhale, turn towards the right. Right hand reaches back for the top or the side of the chair. Exhale, twist. Plant the left hand down on the outside of your thigh. Inhale, go tall. Exhale, twist. Imagining pulling the shoulder blades apart towards the right and left. Inhale. Exhale, gaze can follow that back shoulder. One more breath. Exhale, twist a little bit more if you have the space. Inhale, back to center, arms come out towards the side. And exhale, other side. So reaching back for the top or side of the chair. Inhale. And exhale, twist. Draw your shoulders apart. Relax them down. Inhale. And exhale. And last time, maybe the gaze follows. Inhale. And exhale, twist a little bit more. Inhale, back to center. Arms out towards the side. Cross your right arm over your left. Arms are parallel with the floor. Shoulders are coming directly off of your shoulder. 
Elbows are coming directly off of your shoulders. Walk your fingertips back. Inhale, lift your elbows, let your chest rise. Exhale, round. Let your chin come down into your chest. One big round of breath here. Inhale, come to the side. Exhale, left arm crosses over. So we find that space. Elbows in line with the shoulders. Walk the fingertips back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. More round of breath. All right, arms out towards the side. Reach both hands back for the chair. Draw your shoulder blades back. Lean forward, gaze can come up just a little bit. Exhale, shoulders come forward, release the arms. Do some shoulder rolls. Couple rolls towards the back. Couple rolls forward. Moving into some sun salutation, so staying on the edge of your chair, and we can always modify this, so bolster can be ready later on for us. Inhale, arms out towards the side, up to the sky. Exhale, hands heart center, so big press in with our hands. Inhale, arms out, and up. Exhale, hands float down. We can come onto the tops of our thighs as we fold forward. Wherever we start to feel our back around, we just release into that space. Inhale, come up halfway, so nice flat back. Shoulders are drawn back. Exhale, refold. Inhale, lift up. Reach back for your chair. And we'll find that cow. So inhale, send the chest forward, gaze lifts. Exhale, round the shoulders. Inhale, nice flat back. Arms come up towards the sky. Exhale, hands heart center. So doing this two more times, we inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, folding arms down off towards the sides or on our thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, refold. Inhale, lift back up towards the top. Arms reach back, coming into that cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, flat back as we lift our arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands are center. One more time, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Hands reach back or to the sides of the chair as we puff our chest forward. Exhale, round everything out, cat pose. Inhale, lift back up to center, arms towards the sky. Exhale, hands are center. Big press here. Inhale. From here, hands come out towards the front, palms facing down, about shoulder width. So again, we're still off the back of our chair. We're using our core here. Press in with your sit bones. Start to squeeze them together. Activate your glutes and your quads. Inhale, send the right leg up. Good. Finding space here, flex your toes back. Again, finding that position that feels nice. If we need to add the book, or the bolster pillow underneath the heel to pull some of the tension out of your hip, you can do that. To make this more easy, a little bit more relaxed for our bodies. Good. So from here, we have the right leg lifted, arms are up, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, drop the foot, drop the hand, Good. inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhale, just release the foot down, all the way down. Right arm comes out towards the side. Exhale, 
Hinge over towards the right, left arm is lifted. So climb legs, find space, shoulders over hips, and then we're just hinging from our rib cage. So if it helps, we can bring our thumb on your finger, that little space in between, right up to our ribs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, over from that space. One more round of breath. Inhale, lift the gaze, come up towards the hand. Exhale, draw your gaze down towards the right. Inhale, lift right arm up with left. Exhale, hands are center. Beautiful work. Now from here, hands come out again. We inhale, lift the left leg. Good. Lift that right arm as well. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Last time, exhale, release. Good, exhale, release just the leg. Hand comes down by the side. If we liked the rib thing, we can do that again. Inhale, find space. Exhale, fold. Good. Inhale. Exhale. One more round of breath. Inhale, lift up. Look up toward your hand. Exhale, gaze comes down. Inhale, both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, palms press down to heart center. Good. Inhale, arms up towards the side. Exhale, float them down. Inhale, arms out, palms facing forward. Exhale, palms back, coming down. Inhale, palms forward. Exhale, palms back and down. This time, inhale. Lift the hands up towards the side, palms facing forward. Just drawing some circles here. Flex those fingers. Turn the palms face down. Keep those circles going. Palms face back, circles go. Palms face down. Palms face forward. Palms face up. Good. Bring those palms face forward. Now, for most of us, we'll be drawing those circles from back to front. We're gonna switch the direction, going front to back. So palms face forward first. Little circles here. Palms face up. Palms face forward. Oof! I changed my circles. Palms face down. Palms face back. Get back to neutral. Palms face down. Palms face forward. Good, three big circles here. Switch the direction. Relax those arms down. Roll your shoulders. Sway your head side to side. Grab your strap or belt or towel, whatever you have. Last shoulder work here. Scooch. If you're not on the edge of your chair, scooch there now. Find that edge. If we want to rest our feet on something. We can bring the blocks underneath of us just for a little extra stability. Instead of having the legs ramped down, we have the legs ramped up. So gravity is now pulling us down into the chair. Inhale, palms up. So we wanna create some tension here. Arms are out towards the front, wider than shoulder width apart. Now my arms will disappear in the frame but I'll cue whatever I'm doing. So we inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, we start to just bounce the arms back. We wanna keep the ribs in. One tendency here is we fling the ribs up, just like we would in cow. But we wanna tuck the ribs. So from here, my ribs are out, my ribs are tucked, out, tucked. So tucking those in and adding that bounce. Exhale. If we can, we lower the arms all the way down. We may come in line with the back of the chair. We will likely come onto the outside of the chair with the strap of the belt. Inhale. Arms come back up towards the top. Exhale. Down towards center. Release whatever you have on the tops of your thighs. Hands come out. Exhale. Chin to chest. And then guide the left ear over towards the left shoulder. Relax your right shoulder now. 
draw your gaze down towards the floor. Lift your gaze just for a break. Exhale towards the right side again. Lift left side again. So left ear, left shoulder. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, chin to chest. Chin comes to turn towards the right shoulder. And then gaze comes down towards the floor. Good, bring the gaze back to neutral, chin to chest, inhale, gaze lifts, exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, center, exhale, let your chin fall. Start to walk your elbows over your knees. We can grab our elbows and just let ourselves hang. If we can, we just let ourselves round over our legs. Shake your head side to side, shake it no, shake it yes. Let your shoulders be heavy, drooping down the sides. Inhale, roll yourself back up, all the way up. Arms come up towards the sky. Exhale, hands are center. Couple rounds of movement if you need it. Last thing we're going to do, grab your books, place them down in front of you on your mat, and grab your bolster or pillows. If you have pillows, we'll need to move the stuffing around so that we find center and we find even stability all along. From here, we can scoop back on our chair just to find the space, but we want to bring our ankles on the edge of the bolster. So there is a gap between the knees. Draw your toes up towards the sky. Inhale. We want to hinge forward again to find our shoulders stacked over our hips. This is a big hamstring stretch. Taking it easy. Bending those knees if we need more space. A couple more rounds of breath. Inhale here. Creating staff pose on our chairs. Last time, inhale. Exhale. If we want to deepen this, we inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge. When we reach our stopping point, we round out. Just let the hands hug the calves. If your hands can reach your feet, Feel free to go ahead and reach for them, but if it puts too much tension in your spine or in your hips, just let your hands be where they are. Inhale, lift all the way up. Bend your right knee on top of that bolster. Inhale, arms up towards the side. Exhale, open twist, so hug that knee. Reach for the back leg of your chair. One last twist here. Inhale. Exhale, deepen the twist. Let the gaze come back. Inhale, come back to center. One round of breath in our closed twist, unless we have a baby in our belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, back to center. Bend the left leg. Straighten out the right. Arms open up. Exhale, open twist. Last breath here. Exhale to deepen the twist. Inhale, come back to center. One round of breath, closed twist. Inhale. Exhale, deepen. Inhale. 
come back to center, doing any movement or any stretching that you need to get ready for Shavasana. We can keep the feet on top of this prop set up, wind the knees, lean back in our chair. If there's too much space between our backs, but we feel comfortable, we can stay there. If there's too much space and we don't feel comfortable, just scooting back, making sure our low back is supported on the back of the chair. Two more rounds of breath as we take some open mouth exhales. And inhale here. We seal your lips. Exhale. Let your eyes close. Option to stay here in this seated position for Shavasana. If we would like to come down on our mats to do that, you can pause and do that. And when you're ready for Shavasana, just hit play. And we'll take four minutes for our Shavasana today. So find a place where you can relax, where you can sit, allow yourself just to be. And I'll wake us up at the end with the sound of this name.
start to little fingers, little toes, movement through your whole body. If you're lying down on the floor, rolling over to one side, and pressing yourself into a comfortable seat. As you exhale, draw your chin towards your chest. Inhale, open your eyes, lift your knees. One more big breath together, and next inhale, arms up towards the side, up to the sky. Exhale, hands are center. Thank you so much for taking this class with me, for allowing me to teach you and to be there with you. And it's my honor to guide you. The light in me honors the light that is in you. Namaste.